guys, I've got a question for you. Who's the richest footballer in the world? A good and interesting question. I'm sure you're thinking Lionel Messi with his big deals in the US, Cristiano Ronaldo earning millions in Saudi, or maybe Kylian Mbappe with the presidential treatment he gets from PSG now that he turned down Al Halal. Well, if you guessed any of them, you're very wrong. In fact, you're so far off the mark. None of those guys are half as rich as the richest footballer in the world. Today, I'm going to tell you all you need to know about the wealthiest footballer on the planet. But just before I get into that, just take a second to slap a like on this video and subscribe to the channel where we dive deep into the lifestyle of all your favorite footballers from around the world. Now it's time to find out who the wealthiest football player on the planet is. His name is Fike Bolkia, and he plays for Ratchaburi, a football club based in Thailand. Fike was born in Los Angeles in the United States on the 9th of May 1998, but he's of Brunei descent. But then, how come this this guy who nobody knows about is the richest in the world. I mean, how much do clubs in the Thai league even pay? They're not like Saudi Arabia, are they? Well, they aren't. And I'll just straight up tell you this. Bolkia is not rich because he's so good that clubs decide to throw billions at him. Now, nah, he's rich because he's the heir to a mind-blowing $14 billion treasure chest courtesy of his uncle, Hesanol Bolkia. Yes, you heard that right. That's surely way more moolah than Cristiano Ronaldo and Lionel Messi have lying around waiting for them. Valkyrie got the golden ticket to the title of the richest footballer alive just by being born. But get this, Fike isn't just any wealthy kid. His royal lineage flows from the mighty Jeffrey Bolkia, an oil magnate extraordinaire and a sibling of the Sultan himself, Hassan al Bolkia. We're talking about a legit royal family here, guys. Fike wasn't born with a silver spoon. His spoons were made of pure gold and diamond. Just in case you still do not know how wealthy the Bolkia family is, listen to this. Back in 97, Forbes crowned his uncle the richest human on the planet. Oh yeah! With all these fortunes at his disposal, Fike could really have just chosen to lounge around in his family's castle and do absolutely nothing. But nah, he decided to chase a footballing career. And unlike some people might think, Fike actually did not just buy a footballing career, he actually worked for it. His football story started at AFC Newbury in England when he was just 10 years old. His skills caught the eye of coach Paul Morgan, who said in an interview, when they filled out the documents to be admitted to the academy, Fike's representatives had to indicate their place of residence. They entered a residence built on the former site of the Hollington House Hotel. His family just purchased the hotel and transformed it into a residence. It was extremely apparent. It was evident from the beginning that they were linked to the royal family of Brunei. However, these men were well prepared and courteous. They were not all haughty. Fike seemed to be an average youngster. This interview is telling because it shows that, although the bulkiers are crazy rich and can have whatever they want, his folks are still down to earth and humble with it. Anyway, in 2009, at the age of 11, Fike moved to Southampton. He spent two years there and then he left. For two years, he wasn't signed to any club, but he trained at Reading and trialed at Arsenal, where he played against Corinthians, Eintracht Frankfurt, and PSV in the 2013 Lyon City Cup. Then, in 2014, he joined Chelsea at the age of 16, spent a year there, and then moved to Leicester City in 2016. You could say he sort of did a tour of English clubs as a teenager. Fike spent four years at Leicester, and then in 2020, at the ripe age of 2022, he decided to leave England in order to get regular playing time. So he moved to Maritimo in Portugal, spent a year there, and then moved to Chonburi in Thailand. This summer, he then made the move to Ratchaburi, a club also in Thailand. Hold up, did I mention Fike is a big deal on the international stage too? This guy was courted by the US national team, but he chose to play for Brunei instead, and he got to captain the Brunei national team as a teenager. But enough of his career as a footballer. I'm sure you're interested in seeing how the world's richest footballer spends all that dough. Well, here's how. This dude has a net worth of $20 billion. But here's what's funny. When he was at Chonburi, he was earning 100,000 baht per month, which translates to around $2,900. That's probably just money for his meals for a day. If you ever needed evidence that Fike is really just playing football because of the love of the game, there you have it. Now, Fike's pops, Jeffrey Bolkia, has got a story of his own. The playboy of the Brunei royal family, he was all about that extravagant life, especially in his younger days. We're talking $40 million on cars in a month, the most expensive watches in the world, pens with a twist, and karaoke parties that cost a fortune. He even threw down $14 million to bring Michael Jackson, yes, THE Michael Jackson, to perform at his 50th birthday party. Nah, Fike's old man was really about that life. But Fike himself, he's a whole different vibe. Trust me, simple, down-to-earth, and not letting the riches define him. He spilled the beans in a Thai media interview. His monthly 
monthly salary of $2,900, more than enough for his chill lifestyle. He's living in a condo in Thailand, shelling out just around $170 for rent. And get this, he's rolling up two training sessions in a Toyota Yaris. Modesty level? 100. I guess this guy gets his inspiration from Eddie Murphy in Coming to America. He's not found his queen yet, though. Despite being the richest footballer in the world and surely being able to get any woman he wants, Fike is reportedly still single. He says he's focusing on his football dreams. What a guy. But you know one thing about wealthy people? No matter how humble they try to be, there's always going to be something that'll expose just how wealthy they are. And for Fike, it's his choice of pets. People like you and me go for cats, but Big Fike goes for big cats. His favorite pets are tigers and leopards. Okay, yeah, that's wild. Literally. Tigers and leopards? Those are definitely pets only a billionaire can have. But the craziest part is that Fike reportedly has a credit card with a cap of around $820,000, which was handed to him by his dad. Wow, this guy is really just casually walking around with close to a million dollars in credit. God damn. Fike Bulkier is still yet to win any gold or silver as a footballer, but I'm sure he's not so bothered about that because he's got more than enough gold and silver at home. But I'll be honest, for someone who's worth $20 billion, Fike leads a pretty surprising life. If you found out you were the heir to a $20 billion fortune today, what would be the first thing you'd do? If you want to check out what the more known players make, such as Kevin De Bruyne or Erling Haaland, click on the videos here to see it up next.